Pass or fail. So in the right, you're actually seeing a ruler showing you a pretty identifiable measurement off the finished floor. Those of you who don't know, you're looking at the rough in for a kitchen sink, center of the drain for the kitchen sink off of the floor. You got a range of like three inches going on. It's 12 to 15 max. Lowest 12, 15 is max. And then we get this little thing where the trades actually collided. I look at this, you know what? And I took this picture for a couple of reasons because the finished carpenter is going to have a hell of a time getting the trim around that freaking window with that plug box right there. There was a lack of communication going on here between the plumber and the electrician. We got to communicate. We need to talk to each other. It's not whoever gets there first, even though that does happen, it shouldn't be happening because as an inspector, you walk into that job and you go, oh, just great. This is just great. Pass or fail. And the reason why. So it's really, really close. Fail, see you later, bye. Reinspection fee. Even though both the electrician and both the plumber got spoken to, here's the example. 42 inches is really the standard height that you should always be thinking about. If you're venting a fixture, you do not want to turn a vent horizontally until you hit 42 inches. Now, a couple of things the plumber could have done here. He could have put a couple 45s on. That would still be considered vertical if it was two 45s or a 45 in a street, 45. 42 inches, you're seeing it over there. The countertop height was at 36. Got to pay attention to what's on the finished floor. All we're trying to get you to do is make sure you don't violate the code by doing it. But every time you're doing something with this, getting you to think about the flood level rim of the fixture and making sure that you're seeing that on the rough, most inspectors picture what's going there. They know what the flood level rim is going to be. Some cases they're going to be asking you, especially when it's a lavatory. Is it a self-rimming lab? Is it an under-the-counter lavatory? Or is it a vessel sink, which sits on top of a countertop? Because now, rather than having the vent at 42, it's probably going to be somewhere up around 52 when you put a vessel sink in. Vessel sink sits on top of a countertop. Looks like an old wash basin. <laughs>